girls trip day three and we are here at Epcot. I see some drinks in our future. showcase <laughs> and my eat white condiments around the world expedition we are gonna ride a test track because it's supposed to rain today and you know this will be the first to go down I got the Kona Brewing Hanalei Island IPA, which is delicious. This is one of the better beers I've had at this festival so far, so liking that. And I also got the Kahlua Pork Slider, which comes with a pineapple chutney and a spicy mayonnaise. And it's really sad because Mike lived in Hawaii for a while and loves that cuisine, was obsessed with Kahlua Pork, but this booth is always a no for him because all of the food items, all the savory food items, have spicy mayonnaise. So, more for me. It is overflowing with the meat and the chutney, so fork, fork some of it first. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh, I love spicy mayonnaise. I don't really just mayonnaise in general. But. Mm. The pork is so tender. It's on a Hawaiian roll. Also very yummy. I love the pineapple chutney. It's not terribly sweet, which is interesting because pineapple is usually really sweet. How was your um, slider? The slider was delicious. The meat was tender. It was amazing, an amazing flavor. Perfect sweetness with the pineapple and the spicy mayo was the best part. Sorry, Mike. Yep. Mike. <laughs> yeah, the dish would be good without the spicy mayo, but not as good. Not the same. No, he doesn't know what he's no. Missing out on a lot of happy things. Ooh, in the Hawaiian oh, roll, that was yeah, that was also, really yeah. good. Super sweet, but it's just the right size too. Yes. It's not not yes. too big, not too much. Yep.
rain turned to a torrential downpour. We were waylaid in the stores for a while. They were trying to squeegee water out of the stores. We made it to Canada, to Appleseed Orchard. We're gonna grab some beers and push off before the next torrential downpour starts. I feel like I'm a kid like camping out in the library or something. We're sitting on the floor here. I got the Three Daughters Brewing Apple Pecan Brown Ale. I have to say I like Three Daughters Brewing. They have something from them at all the festivals, so I feel like I'm familiar with a lot of their beers. Oh, this one's interesting. So it has like really toasty notes, but it almost seems more like a cider. It's very, very apple -y. You get like a, a toasty, kind of flavor, which must be the pecans, but definitely more apple. It's different. Yep. I didn't expect it to be so apple-y. The aftertaste is really apple-y. Yeah. You got the caramel apple, right? Yeah. How was that? <laughs> Not as apple-y as that one. It's toasted. Yeah, I agree. Caramel more than the apple? Yeah, it's definitely caramel more than the apple on the back, like kind of back end of it. Like, like a desserty? No. <laughs> caramel, a little bit more of like the brown sugar. Oh, okay. Like almost like if you yes. over cooked caramel. Yes, it's like burnt, burnt caramel. Burnt caramel. 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 one that Beth has is better. It's a little bit sweeter, it is heavier, but it doesn't have the burnt caramel taste <laughs> that the other one has. Not in a bad way, but I don't really no, prefer this. I don't know, it's tart. This one's a little sweeter, and I definitely can notice the apple on it more than on the, the caramel, caramel apple, apple, which you'd think you could taste apple, but you can't. <laughs> no apple at all. No apple at all. <laughs> so I'm corroborating their story. I tried the caramel apple one and I do not like that at all. It's unnecessarily sweet in a weird way, not like like not like a sweet beer, just like someone mixed something weird into it. <laughs> like, I don't like I don't like it. No, don't like that one. We're taking our beers, pushing off. Thought we were having a lock in, but I guess I misunderstood the situation. We're heading over to France. I'm gonna ride on Remy, hide from the rain in there for a little bit more, and then I guess regroup because this is not turn turning out as we had planned. One of the number one rules about visiting Disney is you have to be flexible and you have to be adaptable. And that's what we're trying to do. In the future at Appleseed Orchard, I'm just gonna stick with the ciders. I don't think I like apple beer that much. I want something that sweet and apple-y. What's up, say? This one? Hey, a Yes, what do you hear? Huh? Put on my idea. Cocoa? No. A simple moment? Too simple. Lock-in has
has been relocated to the Morocco booth. I <laughs> just try to do the best we can under the circumstances. I got the falafel pita, which I've had before. It's delicious. It has a yogurt tahini sauce on it, which Mike won't eat. I also got the cider flight. Sarah got her <laughs> beloved bread service, which comes with hummus, tremula, and zug dips. Yum. And she went with just the Bold Rock Ginger Turmeric Cider. You cannot go wrong with a Bold Rock. The Cider Flight consists of Three Daughters Brewing Fig Hard Cider. Let's hope I like this better than the Brown Ale. A, the Bold Rock Ginger Turmeric Hard Cider. And also Stem Cider's Hibiscus Session Hard Apple Cider. I love hibiscus, so I have high hopes for this one. First, the fig. I spilled my scraps. Oh, I like that. We definitely get the fig. It's sweet. Kind of velvety. Very good. I like that. I could drink a whole one of those. The bold rock. Mm, I like that. It's very earthy. Definitely get the ginger. Oh, and the turmeric on the back of your tongue. You can also drink a full one of those. All right, hibiscus session. Which wins for color. Oh, I like that. It's actually the lightest of the three. I like it. I don't know. I think the Bulldog's probably my favorite. And the others are the others are a tie. This is definitely lighter. The fig has more flavor, but depending on what mood you're in, both solid choices. I would I would get a full size of all three all the The alcohol situation has redeemed itself. <laughs> These poncho ladies <laughs> got the griddled cheese with honey and pistachios from the grease food. Is it as delicious as I remember it? It's very good. It's really good. Very, very good. Rich and salty and a good portion size too. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I've already eaten half of mine. <laughs> um, you had to find us. We were hiding in the corner. That's right. All right. What's your favorite this year? Because they don't have the tomatoy <coughs> thing. Ooh, that one's spicy. Which one? This one. This one. This one. This one might be my favorite. This one's actually the Shamula, which is really good. And that's the Zoo. Last year's like, Zoo was my favorite. Yeah, this is it's like a cilantro y kind of pesto dish. And this one, I don't know, this one tastes like olive y to me. Mm. So I don't know if it's from what's in it or the olive oil itself is just a stronger flavor. And the hummus is just hummus. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's delicious, but it's, it's just it's hummus. hummus. You get that at the grocery store. Get it at the Walmart. Oh. If you get on the Florida Blue Medicare website, you can get a day pass to come to their lounge. They have charging stations, they have spa water, tea, coffee, they have a gentleman watercolor painting postcards for you to take. You can get some air conditioning if you need it. If you can get some shelter from the rain, which is what we needed today. Just take a breath. The charging lockers are very neat. You put your phone in the locker, take the correct cable, attach it to your phone, put in a code, close the locker, leave it. It's safe. It's a very interesting, very necessary service some days. It's located in the back of the Morocco Pavilion in the restaurant Marrakesh. Hi, Jasmine. Oh, I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. I love yours. Thank you very much. I'll see you next. Bye. We've come back out. The rain has stopped. We feel invigorated and ready for our next spot. So our next stop was the India booth, and we got all the things. Mostly because no, no. Yeah, these are these are all no's for my. We got the crispy paneer, which I think he'd actually like, but he says that it's cottage cheese-like, and it is, but it's more like, like a cheese stick. Like, yeah. he could eat that. 
he cooks. What do you want? We got the chicken tikka masala, which he also loves, but this has a fennel spiced yogurt on top, so that's a no. And we got the potato and pea samosa, which he'd also like, but they put a coriander lime cream on top. <laughs> Just to spite Mike. No things for Mike. <laughs> I also don't like cottage cheese, but I do like paneer. What I don't like is ketchup, and it does come with a mango ketchup. But I'm a good sport, and I will try it. It's really good. It has great flavor. The ketchup's actually pretty good. It has almost like a spongy tofu texture, which is what paneer is. Yeah. You have little faith. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's really good flavor. Good spice, yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna dig into this chicken tikka masala. One of my favorite tea things. Mm. Oh, that's great flavor. I like my tikka masala spicy. This isn't spicy, hot spicy but it's very well spiced. See the, the tomatoey sauce. I don't think the yogurt on top is necessary, but I don't dislike it. Oh, oh, that bite had some kick. There's some heat in there. I just didn't get it in the first bite. Oh yeah, there's some heat. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I get you. She's got some heat. <laughs> But look at all that cream sauce. I know. This whole booth is basically a no for Mike. Which is sad because he loves Indian food. Ooh, look at the this inside. Bacon. Oh, that does look delicious. Mmm. Get you again with the spice. Good. Mm, very good. Like them. <laughs> It's like an Indian bean burrito. There you go. Can't go wrong with that. Nope. Mike's missing out. This is uh, this is a top booth for me. The whole booth is super delicious. And like Sarah just mentioned, um, all of the food items are like five to six dollars. So very reasonably priced. Super delicious. Very flavorful. Yeah. Morocco and India. Where's that? Best. You like them? Everything was delicious. It was all super flavorful, good spice. Come eat some more. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so full. I would definitely get all three of those dishes again. I think the paneer and the samosas were my favorites. Just because they were a little more different. Like we have tikka masala at home all the time. And I also don't know why you need a yogurt drizzle on there. That's but, like, <laughs> but that is definitely a white condiment expedition. Best of the best foods for me. All right, I have one last stop I want to make on my white condiment expedition. It's at Earth Eats. Be right back. We've had so many vegetarian dishes today that have been amazing. So I got the Impossible Burger Slider. It has wasabi cream and a sesame slaw. You know, Mike doesn't do slaw. He also doesn't do cream. So, it's be a good one to end on. This looks delicious. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I need two hands for this. She's a big girl. Gosh, let's look. Mike would freak out. So, I expect it to be spicier because it's a wasabi cream, but it's super fresh, like really fresh. The meat's very flavorful. The meat is very flavorful. You guys should come try it. Mm. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. You should take a bite. <laughs> Get it's on like in Asian here, Nikki. Flavored. All right. See if it can win me over. Oh, I like the seasoning. Yeah. Disney does good things with the Impossible Burgers. That's pretty good. All right. All right, She's Impossible. Been an impossible hater. All right, all Impossible day. Meat. <laughs> all Not day. bad, right? You've won me over. That's good. It is good. I like a good Asian yeah. seasoning. Yeah. It's good. Actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Told you guys.
trying to not get the bread if I can. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah. The texture is definitely a little bit different yeah. than meat, um, but the flavors. The flavors really good. good. Yeah. <laughs> you got some wasabi. I did. It's good. Not mm -hmm. too hot. Not like. Unfair. That's sushi's wasabi. Oh yeah, that, I basically try to make sure I can't breathe. She like puts it in there and mixes it all. Too much. I put the whole thing. So I really enjoyed that. The Impossible Burgers they do around here, they season beautifully. It was so flavorful. It was super moist. Sorry, Sarah. The spicy slaw I really loved. I, you know I love an Asian flair to things, so I love an Asian burger. I wish the wasabi cream had a little more bite to it, but overall it was delicious. To say we had so many vegetarian and now vegan options it's kind of crazy i would put india up there with like the, my top booths of the festival not just on our white condiment expedition but overall pretty good day eating all the things that um mike would not be interested in eating so if you missed out mike there's some great dishes today thank you guys for coming with us we had some fun don't forget to like and subscribe and as always it has been a most gratifying day